And we are now back. Hello, my name is Rem, and then with me is Dave. Say hi to the folks at home, Dave. Hello. And I will say hi when I want to. Great. And now we're in Zora's domain, and I'm gonna go jump off this waterfall after talking to this oh, handsome is... man. Ah, uh, that's creepy. I don't like that. He's a fish man. We're gonna play a little game. He's gonna throw some stuff in the water, and I gotta go get it. Bloop. Why? Because we'll get a prize. David, have you learned nothing about Zelda? You do a whole bunch of, like, cockamamie bullshit, and you get stuff. <laughs> That's how All the game right. works. You got one. You got one. I got, like, five here. Get it! Do you Very have, cool. um... Do you have any public spawn Dive, dive. Dave, do you have Not any... Not a public one. This one's got a... Mm-hmm. What? Well, I, I was I was asking if you had a uh, like a pool or anything that you could go to. I mean, we have one in the neighborhood, but in my entire two years of living in this neighborhood, I was never given the key fob. Um. So uh, yeah, I've never been able to access it. Why? Why not? Why didn't you ever tell your landlord about that? You're paying to be a part of an I HOA. Did. I did. Mm -hmm. I've told him many times. And what, he just doesn't listen to you? I don't know what happened to it. He's looked for it. I don't. I think his last tenant lost it or something. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of bullshit, so, dude. I mean, you I'm live... not big on pools. Yeah, but you yeah. live in Florida. It gets up to like 500,000 degrees over there. Sometimes you just want to hang out in a, you know, a liquid bath. With a bunch of strangers who are shedding God knows what in the water. Yeah, but that's why they chlorinate it. Or chlorine it. I don't know. There's chlorine chlorine. in the water. I don't know what the... Chloraclean. Chlor... Introducing new chloraclean. Get your pool Do you have a stain that just won't go away? Is there someone in your life you'd like to scrub out? Well, now, introducing chloraclean. We just put some chlorine right on that face right there. There we go, and they're gone. Someone's just sitting there like, My eyes, I can't see now. What have you done? It's like, chloraclean. It gets the tough stains out. <laughs> and by stains, we mean people. We're, you we're got that horrible ex-boyfriend you're trying to get rid of? Chloroclean. It's just, it's like dissolving his body in acid. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he'll think next time. <laughs> maybe, maybe he'll call back and text back faster, Chad. <laughs> He's sick. You can't figure out what to get your dad for Father's Day? Chloroclean! Now you don't oh, have wait, a dad! You dad. <laughs> now you don't have to get him a present! Ever again! Man, this took a dark turn. We, took, we went from public swimming pools to this. Yeah, and that was all on you, man. I... you, you took it here. <laughs> I brought it here, and now I don't know what to do with it. Well, I just lit That's some fires. What... Uh, sure. That, all of that is what you should do. Become president. And then just when you're on first address to the union, now that you're president, just say, you know, honestly, I'm going to level with you guys. Didn't think I would get here. Kind of freaked out right about now. Um, not sure what to do with all this power. Um, so... Yeah, special announcement. I've set fires everywhere. <laughs> I, I ever since I was a child, I never knew how to deal with my insecurities. So whenever I got scared or nervous about something, I would just start fires. And I have not grown out of it, even as an adult. <laughs> I'm not even sure how that didn't come up on the campaign trail, to be honest, with all the amount of mudslinging that goes on around here. I mean, it's it would like someone wanted me and. Fires. It would have been such oh, an easy fires. target for my uh, for my other candidates, but they didn't take the bait. He's now having multiple voices in his head have a discussion. <laughs> uh, man, it's hot in here. So, what is this? Just turn my AC really? down. Yeah, I don't want to get up though. But, I mean, we've also started recording already, so. All right. Next steps. Well, I mean, I still probably won't uh, turn it down. Here. Anyway. Anyway. 
Uh, by the way, David, remember when you uh, were singing about messages in a bottle earlier? Or you were uh, singing fairies in a bottle? Right, yeah. but you were parodying. Well, I just uh, <clears throat> I just picked up a, a message in a bottle, and now I'm gonna go hand deliver it to King Zora because it's a message for him. Does this that... message mean he'll give us a stone? No stone. Um, How's no, that? it's not not quite that easy, David. We gotta we gotta go through. A couple more rigmaroles. It's all about the hoop jumping. Here you go, pal. Yeah. Do this is, wait, this game is meant for a younger audience, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's, rated, it's rated E. It's, it's for everybody, really. Okay. Because the reason I say that is it's got to teach his kids about being an adult. Oh, you want to go do this thing? Yeah, just cross all that bureaucratic red tape and jump through a bunch of hoops. That'll be fine. I mean, you, you gotta, want a house? Yeah, just do that. You gotta teach. You wanna sign a lease? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you uh, want a car? Yeah, just do all that over there. You want a job, dude? When you fill out those job applications and they're like, "Here, submit your resume," you say, "Okay, cool. I got my resume. Here you go." And then it says, "All right, thanks for your resume. Hey, tell us about your previous job experience." You just sit there, just like, <laughs> I just gave you my, I, resume. I, you my resume is just that. My previous job experience. It's on the resume that I just submitted that you just asked for. And well, you just had a whole thing that I could submit. Well, right. But I think they ask you that question just, like, to make sure that you're not bullshitting them. Because if you say, like, oh, yeah, I used to work as, like, a construction worker and a dentist. And then your resume says that you were actually, like, a prostitute and a cashier at Starbucks. Then, you know. That is, um, <laughs> that's a sad resume. Put prostitute on your resume. Um, it was in the darker times after the 08 mark, market crash. Yeah, we all had to do what we had to do to survive. I made some decisions I'm not proud of. Is he making those noises? Yep, that is King Zora. He's he's scooching over to let us through. He's um, just taking his time. Yeah, he is. Well, he's kind of an older gentleman. See, I gave him the message in the bottle, and it was from his daughter, uh, Princess Rudo, and she's trapped inside a well. Uh, she's trapped inside the belly of a whale, much like Jonah. And now we have to go and save her, and she's back this way. Damn it! I forgot. Oh. All right. I I lied. I'm sorry. We're not going to save her quite yet. I forgot to grab an item that we need. Oh, nice going. Well, whatever. It's not far. It's 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 right here. I just I still have to grab it though. I just gotta run a CVS real quick. Just grab a couple things. <laughs> I just uh, I'm making a CVS run. You guys want anything? <laughs> just going to get gas. You need any? You want some chips? Maybe some beef jerky? Cinnabons? Yeah, you want some jerky? Maybe, maybe a slush? No. 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 I, I love Cinnabons. And, uh, Really? No, I just, yes! no. That's gonna be a no for me. Dude, the, the honey buns are like essential road trip food. Uh man, speaking of road trips. Yeah, you remember just when I was on going one. from Yeah, when I when I was going up to Georgia oh, and then yeah. Georgia, Tennessee. Oh, I thought you were talking uh, about when you visited. And I saw Japan. all the sex shops. Yeah. Oh no. And I saw all the sex shops. Just wanna think about the family on a road trip, just like, Honey, I need to stop and get a few things. Kids stay in the car. <laughs> Comes back out with two giant bags full of stuff, just throws it in the back. His wife just staring at him. Daddy, why is Don't... the bag moving? Shut up! Sweet. It's vibrating like crazy! <laughs> Don't worry about that. Shut it off when we get in the hotel. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there, there are a crazy amount of sh sex shops off of 95. It's a very interesting culture because you see a very strange dichotomy between signs preaching the gospel and then signs saying, strippers over here, gentlemen's <laughs> club, right this way. Yeah. If you want to get hard, we'll go even harder, right over here. Yeah, that's exactly All how right, that works. There we go. Whee! Ah, no! Oh, there's, there's your, uh, there's your boar fetish, ladies and gentlemen. This entire temple is nothing but boar. <laughs> well, here we are, David. Uh, Welcome to uh, Jabu I, Jabu's belly. 
I don't like this. Jabu Jabu is the name of the fish, by the way. I figured that. It's not a tough Can we just... temple. What, skip it? No, of course we can't. We have to just grit your teeth and bear it. Uh, why... what, what was that just opened? Where are we in his body? Um, His esophagus, maybe? More importantly, why... Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I think JonTron pronounced it that way once, and it just want... kind of just always stuck. Ah! It's like, it's face! It's Princess, uh, it's Princess Bruto. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Here, here is I'm much the... more interested in the idea of you teaching a <laughs> Alright, class, here we have the vagina. The, the, the penis goes in the vagina. Sometimes the penis goes down the esophagus when you're doing the different... Uh, intracoital positions. <laughs> Jimmy, you better take notes. This is going to be on the test. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy! Pay attention, right? Uh, I don't want to throw your ass in detention again. If you I... go to detention, we'll be doing an example. <laughs> we'll make a an ex demonstration. We'll make an example out of you. Wasn't that a monk? Huh? <laughs> Wasn't that a Monty Python sketch? Was it? Yeah, there's a Monty Python sketch where... Yeah, where one of the guys is is a teacher, and he's supposed to do sex ed, so he brings his wife in to demonstrate before <laughs> the class. Yeah, it sounds like. And in the middle of doing it, he just stops and is like, "Is that gum? Are you chewing gum? You know, one of those kind of." Wait, so heads. like he's like balls deep in his wife, and he stops to to chew out a kid for chewing gum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Monty Python. Good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, this is Princess Rudo. She's being kind of a bitch and doesn't really want to cooperate with us. So. Why? Because she's a stuck-up princess and she lost her family heirloom that Jabu Jabu swallowed, and that's why she's in here. And she's all like, I don't need your help. Tell Dad I'm fine. Just get out of here. And so now we have to, like, coax her into letting us hang out with her. Oh, and by hang out with her, we actually just have to carry her around. So, here we go. What? Yeah, yeah. It's one I of those. Hate these doors. It's one of those escort missions. We got a really gross level. I am not a fan. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, it's not particularly my favorite either. Let me just go ahead and take care of this. Why is there a spider in yeah inside of a whale? I have many questions. Well, I mean, uh, if a spider was hanging out on the beach and then the whale got hungry and was like, "Hmm, spider," it would have just ate the spider. Ooh, it's pots. still alive. How are these things not digested? Damn it! I wanted to put it in a fucking bottle. Um, probably because his stomach acid just isn't that strong. Ugh, get out of here. Ooh. I don't have time for that? you. They're, um, manta rays, I guess. Manta rays. Yeah, real pain in my ass is what they I are. realize, you ever think about how horrifying some sea creatures would be if they were on land? Um, yeah. Um, I can't think of any specific like examples. Like lobsters. Lobsters? No, lobster. Lobsters are on like land. If, oh, no, no, listen, hear me out. Mm -hmm. If you were to see a chicken just in your house, you would think, why is there a chicken here? But if you saw a lobster, you'd be like, what is that monster? Kill it now. It is a roach of the sea. That's all it is. I don't I don't eat lobster if you can't tell. Yeah. Well, I've I've never had lobster just because I've I've been kosher for pretty much my whole life. Well, pretty that's not true. That, well, the reason I say pretty much is because um, when I was on uh, campus for a little bit, that's kind of when the whole kosher thing went out the window. That's when I had bacon for the first time. That's when I had uh, a whole lot of different stuff that I never ate in my life because, uh, you know, living at home with Jewish parents who were kosher, you don't you don't get to have real bacon very often. Ever, actually. <laughs> people make a big deal. I'm going to get some hate for this, but people make a big deal over bacon and... Um... I don't know, man. It's all right. But... It's delicious. I pushed the button too soon. Oh, God. Where did she go? She's back at the beginning. 
I gotta go back to the beginning. <sighs> she is. Uh, she, I don't she, like the whale. She is a she's a fish princess, and she drowns in water. Hey, all right, let's go. Ugh. This this isn't um. This isn't one of the more fun temples in this game. No, I'm. Yeah. Seems like it. I'm not even just talking aesthetics. I'm just talking. It's kind of annoying, kind of few, confusing and maze-like. It's uh, a whale's stomach. Um, damn it! What do I want to do here? I'm trying to remember where to go and what. Just to chuck do. her and cut your losses. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna go up here. Can't you just go get the thing yourself and then come back and retrieve her? No, because I need her to solve puzzles. She has to, like, sit on really? buttons. Yes, she's got to sit on buttons and open doors, and then I'll go through the doors while she sits on the button. Ew, it's pulsating. I don't like that. I'm just trying to remember where I go because this temple is kind of a pain in the ass. It's not um, a temple. It is a whale. You're inside a whale. Yeah, you're not that wrong. Count as a temple. Don't call it a temple. Yeah, I need her in this room. I can't do anything here. Um. Anyway, uh, how about next time on Rem and Dave, and I'll figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. All we right. All, we all good with Sounds that? Good we to all me. cool with that? All right. Yeah. Cool. I'm cool with that. All right. Goodbye. We'll, we'll see you next time. Bye. I know I said I know this game like the back of my hand, but that doesn't mean that the more maze-like and confusing temples don't still give me trouble from time to time. It's understandable. How could they not? I mean, they were designed to be maze-like and puzzly, so the first time you try to solve them, it's a bit of a challenge.